So I um, live on the Sunshine Coast in Yurumba. I'm a painter and I'm a graduate of architecture. So I'm training to get my registration and I uh, absolutely love surfing and body surfing and painting. I see the signs approach, recognize my reaction that I've come to fear. I would say that I'm a hard edged colour field artist. I mainly specialise or do landscape paintings. It's very formalist and pared back and make it as simple and effective as possible. Generally, my pieces are quite happy, there's not much doom and gloom, and hopefully, you know, what I paint. Can, that can bring happiness and joy to other people, I suppose. My mum and my grandmother used to do all pattern making and sewing at home, so I've watched them for years and years and years pattern make and put together their own clothes and my own clothes and all that sort of thing. And that's probably where the collaging and the pattern making has taken off for me and I've taken it on my own way. I work for a project management company and I am their in-house designer. So I'm their CAD guy, I'm the guy on their front end, middle end and back end of a project and when we start putting buildings up, it's a case of definitely my architecture, I feel does flow through to my art with the hard edges and the hard lines and certain methodical parts to it. So doing stuff on the computer, you get stuck in a version of Atari world and it's not real and you lose a sense of scale. So that sort of knowledge transponded through to my practice where I had to hand create things. It's a thing of trying to, to me, keep it as simple as possible and be able to recreate it over and over again, but make it all handmade and as special as possible. But it doesn't bark, doesn't stink, don't have to feed it. My friend Jake has one that's like the red or yellow bl belly black snake and it's yeah. like a huge version yeah. of this and he's like coloured in the yeah. bottom of it. Definitely there's times of self-doubt, that's for sure. You just get stuck doing this the same sort of thing, you know, commission after commission and you just feel like you want to progress but you're not progressing yeah. at a rate quick enough. Yes, it's painting that makes me happy or doing the art that makes me happy so hopefully yeah that correlates or it comes through. No, it's definitely like a yoga for the mind and like you said an outlet. This is a place for me to come and reflect at the end of every day or if something is on my mind or if something's happening or whatever or something doesn't go my way, I'm able to just sit down and reflect and go through the motions. Favourite thing to do in the world is body surf, I think, because it's the closest you can get to nature. It's the most pure and simple form of surfing. I've looked at it from there. Body surfing is hopefully my next career path. <laughs> I've always sort of body surfed as a kid, just dad or just would say go out, go for a swim or we'd just throw ourselves into shore breaks or days that we couldn't surf when it was too big, we'd just go out and swim. It's not the very thing she loves. Definitely proud of where my art is, like, that's for sure. Paint bigger, paint more, travel the world, do more shows. If you asked me four years ago where I'd be today, I wouldn't have said here as an artist today. It's moving pretty quick and I like it a lot, so it's cool. <laughs>